welcome back to my channel. I'm Jordan and I had VSG on September 9th, 2019. Today in this video, I'm going to go over my month one through four after weight loss surgery and just tell you kind of how those months go because I get a lot of questions about those months because I wasn't on YouTube then. Um, and I'm going to put um, pictures of me at that at each stage in this video also and then at the end I'll update you with um, some before and afters. So my first month post-op was probably the hardest and that's because I mean I just had weight loss surgery I've never done this before I'm getting used to having a tiny stomach and the inflammation or in the, by the staple line where you in your stomach is really sensitive so it was hard to drink water really any liquids so my first week post-op was a full liquid diet and then two weeks i was still on full liquids but i could incorporate squishy foods once a day my third week i was on a chopped food diet so like tuna mashed potatoes vegetable period vegetables things like that and then week four, I started introducing soft foods, and this was all by what my doctor said. I just wanna give a disclaimer. I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a dietitian, I'm not any of those things, but this is what my doctor suggested that I did, so I followed what he asked me to do. I lost 30 pounds my first month. Um, I was so, so tired in that first month though, and I really wish I would have given myself time to heal. Um, I went back to, I had surgery on a Monday and I was back at work on Thursday. And that was just because at that time last year, I had to do that. I didn't have an option to not work. So I had to go back early, but I wish I would have been able to give myself at least two weeks to fully heal. Um, it's not that the pain is bad or anything, but it's a major surgery and your body's just extremely tired and trying to heal itself. Um, month two was hard mentally. It truly sucked, month two did. Every time you eat, it hurts. You don't know what you can and can't digest yet. So every time you eat, it's like a new experiment. You don't know if it's gonna hurt or not. I lost um, 15 pounds that month, I think. And I was happy with the weight loss, but like mentally the not eating, it's like two months of squishy foods, you know, trying to incorporate soft foods, eggs were getting gross, and it was just really rough um, that second month. The third month, I started feeling more like myself and I was able to, get more active, um, just more myself. I didn't get so dizzy so often. I was able to do more of what my normal self would do. But I did have days that I noticed where if I didn't pay attention to my body whenever I started getting dizzy or something like that, and I didn't take the time to rest, I did notice that I would have like flu-like symptoms for two days after and it would really like knock me off my feet where I had to rest. Um, in my fourth month, I was good. I started changing my workouts, um, started lifting weights and trying to do at least 45 minute workouts. I would push it and try to get an hour, but then I would feel extremely exhausted. The scale wouldn't move if I did that. So it was really finding the balance between healthy exercise and truly getting in nutrition because, you, like I said, you're eating maybe 500 calories a day, working out, you know, you just can't do that. It burns you out. Your body's already burning more than you're eating. So walking, things like that really do work best during these very first months of weight loss surgery. And even right now at this moment, I'm eight months post-op, but I can't, like if I lift weights too many days a week, it's just like with any time anybody starts working out, you gain weight. And I 
I'm trying to meet my one year weight loss goal. So really listen to your body during these months. It's important to know that our bodies are extremely smart. God created us in a way that our bodies will tell us exactly what we need and pay attention to those signals. I wish I would have done that more with myself. Do I have any regrets on how I've done this? No, because I've never done it before. I researched the best that I could, got the best information that I could, and I just implemented everything that I knew the Lord was leading me into doing. Is it going to be like that for everybody? No. Um, so a total from one month post-op to the end of my fourth month, I lost 55 pounds and it came off so fast. I was kind of like, oh no, I'm going to have terrible loose skin, things like that. Um, and that's normal. Everyone's going to deal with that to some extent. There's different things that you can do to help with that. Um, but for these four months, focus on the most nutritious things you can put in your body. Whether it be green smoothies, protein shakes, whatever you feel is the most nutritious for your body, do it. But for me, it was a lot of green smoothies to get in actual nutrition and not just whey protein or something like that. I wanted to make sure that I had the best nutrition going in because I couldn't consume very much. Um, the mental side of it, you really have to know who you are in Christ, or for me at least, I had to know who I was. And I constantly had to speak scripture over myself that I'm more than food. God has created me for a purpose. And my purpose is to not stuff myself with food all the time. I made this change for a reason. And it really, food cravings and stuff went away. First week, first month. Like your stomach hurts so bad anytime you take something in that you, I couldn't even think about eating something bad. Um, but truly, before you go on this journey, the best piece of advice that I could have was do some soul searching. Get to know the things of you that you don't like and let God use those for good. I spent almost 10 years of my life hating the way my body looked, covering it up constantly, not going to parties and functions and things like that with my friends and family because I didn't want people to see me. Um, don't allow yourself to hide away from everything good just because of the way you look. Easier said than done, because I've been there. But if I could go back, I would definitely do that. I would give my family what they des deserved from me that I didn't do. And just learn to love yourself now, because if you can't love yourself as Christ loves us, you're not going to be able to love yourself when you're 150 pounds lighter either. I really hope that this information helps you guys. And if you want to see more of my day-to-day -day what goes on, follow me on Instagram. I'll leave my account down below, and you can follow me there. Ask me questions. I'm here for you guys. Um... And also, I'd truly appreciate it if you would hit the red subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications, and like this video. I'll see you guys.